Okay, hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome back to statistics. So today we're going to carry on with our year two stats videos. And last video we talked about the one way ANOVA. Today we're just going to talk about kind of the non parametric equivalent of that and what to do in that scenario. So we've got a question here. So we've got a researcher's interest to see if there is a difference in life satisfaction for cat, dog or alpaca owners. The researcher took a group of individuals who owned one of the three different type of animals and measured their life satisfaction. So we're going to do two things uh, with this. So we're going to look at if life satisfaction increases if you have a cat, dog or alpaca. And then we're going to compare if there's a difference in life satisfaction if you own a dog compared to a cat and alpaca. And we're going to compare all those groups together. Let's jump straight into Jamovi. So we're in Jamovi now. And as you can see, we've got animal type and life satisfaction. So the first thing is what we want to do is we obviously need to check the homogeneity and normality. So if we're treating this as a normal question, we would think about doing what we did last episode. And we're going to go into this one way ANOVA because we want to check the assumptions that we usually check. So we've got a normal thing here. So again, we're measuring life satisfaction. So we're going to pop that in the dependent variable. And we're obviously grouping by animal type. So we're going to put that in there. So the first things we're going to do, we need to check the homogeneity and normality. And as you recall, we need to meet both of those assumptions to carry on with the test. So as you can see, normality for the Shapiro walk test is not OK because we're not uh, above 0 0.05 in this case. But yeah, we've met the assumption of homogeneity. But again, we need to meet both of these assumptions. So because and it even gives you a note here. So a low p-value suggests a violation of the assumption. So because of this, we can't carry on with our one way ANOVA. So what we want to do, go into ANOVA again and go into Krusk Willis one way ANOVA. And this is the non-parametric equivalent. Yeah, so it's a much, much more simplified view. If we just go down here. So we again put life satisfaction and animal type. And that will give you our result here. So in this case, we're measuring this x squared statistic instead of the f. And that's what we're going to put in. And again, we've got degrees of freedom. So it's kind of like a chi-squared kind of vibe. And we've got our p-value again below 0.05, meaning that the test is significant. Obviously, this isn't enough for us. So let's add the effect size. And in this case, we've got this epsilon squared. So that's our effect size. And this one's a bit different from the other ones with between the d and the r. As in this case, if it's above 0.16, then it's considered a large effect. And obviously, closer to zero is small. And somewhere in between is a medium-sized effect. So in this case, we've got a large-sized effect for this. And as we did with the other one, so the two key, uh, in this case, we're going to do the DSCF, so the Dwarf Steel Critchlow Flinger comparisons. And that's basically the two keys where it allows us to compare between the groups again. Hopefully that loads. OK, so we've loaded in now. So as you can see, we've got this W and that's basically instead of that T statistic that we had with uh, the one way and over the parametric equivalent. So instead, we've got this W. And then again, we've got this P value to see if the difference between is significant. So as we see, alpaca and cat, the difference in life satisfaction between owning those two animals is non significant because its value is above 0 0.05. That's the same with alpaca and dog. However, there is seem to be a difference between life satisfaction com with your owning a cat compared to a dog, I believe in this case. But but if we go because right right now we're not really sure if it's owning a cat gives you more satisfaction than owning a dog or the other way around. So if we go into descriptives quickly and we put that there. And I don't need that, I don't need that. Yeah we just stick with that, see what happens. And again because we're this is a non parametric test we still want to report some descriptive data, but in this case, we're going to report the median and something like the variance or the range because it's a non parametric test and the mean doesn't really give us much. Okay, so we've got our data here. So, as you can see, because by this mean, we can see that in this case, owning a dog gives you a higher satisfaction than owning a cat due to this higher mean. So we know what the, what this test now means. So um, because there was a significant difference between life satisfaction and owning these two pets, we can see that in this case, people have higher life satisfaction if they own a dog. OK, so let's get to Word and see how we would write this up. OK, so we've got our answer here. So again, we've got these two two bits where first we're talking about the overall effect and we're going into more detail to talk about in between the groups. So. What I said was that there was a significant effect on owning a pet and life satisfaction seen by this x squared value. And then we've got the degrees of freedom and our value and this p value telling us that the effect was significant. And this 
will seem to have a large effect seen by just epsilon. Uh, you can just put e or you can put e squared, it doesn't really matter, um, as long as you get the effect size right and the, the value here. However, if we talk about now the deeper kind of connections between the groups, the pairwise comparison has showed no significant difference between alpaca owners, so we've got this again medium and range, and cat owners, because this is a non parametric medium and range. And we put in this w statistic and a p value showing us that the data is non significant. And then this was also seen by alpaca and dogs. Again, non significant. However, there was significance between cat and dog owners. We can see, so we've got cat owners here. So you can see that the medium, again, is much smaller compared to the dogs. So we can also see um, that dog owners has a, have a higher satisfaction. And because we've put in these descriptive data, the reader now knows which one, because, because we said there's a significant difference between the two groups, the reader now knows which group is favored in this, in this sequence. Okay, so that was the kind of breakdown of the non-parametric equivalent of the one-way ANOVA, so the Crosco Wallace. And yeah, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check the link for anything that you want or loads of Amazon free trials, so don't be afraid to have a look. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.